Now, I mean, Sacramento sort of had a really weird history when it came to hip hop. I mean, because we talked about the X-rated thing. Um, now, there's the whole Sick X thing. Mm-hmm. Now, Sick X is an artist that you worked with. Um, probably. Well, you heard of Sibo, right? Of course. We did an album together. He's hard. Okay, so Sibo, Sick X, and you? Triple Six and, and X-Rated and Sibo. And I got to say shouts out to my boy Homicide who died uh, about a week, a week and a half ago. He was the first rapper from Sacramento to even have a record out. You know what I mean? Well, not the very first rapper, but, um, you know, DC Ray and them. Everybody heard of Triple Threat. They had a record out. Homicide was the first gangster rapper to have a record out. He just got shot and killed uh, a couple weeks back while I was on this tour. So I got to send a shout out to him and his family. Yeah, my condolences. Yeah. Now, Sick X actually got convicted and went to prison for, I guess, raping his kids? That's what they say. You hey, know what? Hey, hey, man, his wife. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Before the day before that happened, he had this big party, and we were at the time not around each other because we had uh, fell out. And one day I got this call. He, he uh, said, well, "We're getting together, having this party." And I said, "Well, yeah, I'll come by." Went by there. Party, got drunk, said our goodbyes. Next thing you know, I never saw him again. Yeah, I mean, you know. Next thing I know, I seen, my, I seen his face on the news about that. Yeah, I mean, there's really, you can't, you can't really excuse something like that or, or justify it or, or anything else like that. It, he was convicted on like 15 counts of child molestation and everything. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's really fucked up. Yeah, and, and yeah, he he uh he's a horny dude. Did anyone have any idea this was happening before he got arrested? Uh not sure. No, I mean I'm sure if somebody would have knew, I would have knew. Cause at one point me and him was the closest than anyone. So nobody told me. So I don't think nobody knew. Yeah, I mean, it's not really something that you, you advertise. Well, I mean, amongst homies, I think something, somebody would have said something. Because that's how close all of the circle was. Yeah, man, but that's something that no one respects anywhere in the world. Well, you know, his thing was, even before he did anything or didn't do it, I have to say, his raps, he loves to just go overboard, more overboard than I do. That's where I learned it from. That's what his raps was about. So, I don't think he did it, but his raps would make you think that he did it. Like, what are some of the craziest raps that he had? I can't remember off the head, but he talked some crazy stuff. His name is Triple Six Bounty. Well, it was, you know what I mean? So like, imagine anything under that umbrella, anything. Yeah. He says music's out there, if you get a chance. Listen yeah. to some of his older stuff. Okay. You know what I mean? So, if these walls could talk. That's the song? That's the album. So you, you talked about that you're a man of depressant. Yeah. So have you actually been, you know, you went to a doctor and they, they confirmed it chemically? Uh, that's what my mom says. Said. I just okay. remember, I just remember going to the doctor, to the dentist, to whatever, like that. I don't know what for. I ain't never had a broken bone or nothing. But I know I used to take pills. Don't know what they are. I just stopped taking them. Well, my mom passed, so wasn't nobody making me take them anymore. 
I mean, I, I've seen I've seen people that are mad at depression. You know, I've had a, a close friend that was bipolar. Like, like you, you you see various, you know, freak outs and you know huge mood swings and everything else like that. Was that happening to you, or you feel like it was bullshit? I don't know. I just it's my mom. I gotta believe her. You know, ultimately, if you feel like you got it under control, you got it under control. Well, I, you know? I mean, I I get them every once in a while now. And give my manager hell because of, you know, some of my mood swings. But I think I got it under control. Hey, man, that's, all, that's the only thing that's important. I don't, I guess I say a lot of the wrong things to make people mad a lot, but I try not to. <laughs> it's all good. I guess that's what makes Brother Lin Chung, Brother Lin Chung. Yeah, it just comes out. I'm not trying to do it. I try to be a nice guy.